today, we explore the Great Pyramid of Giza. Shrouded in mystery, intrigue, and confusion. We will analyze the story of imprisonment, rescue, and the dismantling of the Great Pyramid, referred to as the Akure, according to the 11th Sumerian Tablet. Join us as we journey inside the Great Pyramid. Welcome to Ancient Alien Answers. Please subscribe now and ring the bell for notification. It's free and we can continue to bring you new content. Mardu fears for his life. To defy his pursuers, he hides out in the Akure. Within the house which is like a mountain is his final stand. Then Ninurta of the secret entrance learned the swivel stone on the north side he found. Through the dark corridor, Ninurta passed the grand gallery he reached. Its vault, by many hued emissions of the crystals, like a rainbow was a glitter. With weapons responding, smashing the wonder crystals, Ninurta up the gallery kept going. Into the upper chamber, the place of the great pulsating stone, Marduk retreated. At its entrance, Marduk, the sliding stone locks lowered, from one and all the admission they barred. That the encased hiding chamber be Marduk's stone coffin, to them Ishkar said. To three blocking stones ready for down gliding, Ishkar their attention drew. Let slow death by a live being buried be Marduk's sentence, and Nana her consent gave. At the end of the gallery, three, the blocking stones let loose. Each one of them, one stone for plugging, slid down. Marduk, as in a tomb, to seal. After a plea for Marduk's life from his human wife, a rescue plan is devised, aided by the Akira's builder, Ningashida. What follows is an unintended description of the inside of the Great Pyramid that explains why it looks like it does even today. This will show the destruction of the Great Pyramid by their own actions long before we got our hands on it. Ningashida, the Akira's secret designs contemplated. How to circumvent the blockings he planned. Through a chiseled upper opening, Marduk will be rescued at a place which I will show them a doorway in the stones they will cut. From it, upward a twisting passageway they shall bore, a rescue shaft creating. At the vortex of the hollowings, through the stones they will break through. With tools that cracked the stones, the opening they reached, an exit they blew open. Circumventing the three blocking stones, the utmost chamber they reached. On a small platform, the portcullis they raised. Marduk fainted. They rescued. Carefully, through the twisting shaft, they, the Lord, lowered. To fresh air, they, him brought.
After Marduk is safe and secure, Ninurta re-enters the Akur with the intention of dismantling. Let's follow his steps. Through a horizontal corridor to the Akur's vulva, he went. In the east wall, in a niche artfully fashioned, the destiny stone a red radiance was emitting. Its power to kill me grabs. With a killing tracking, it me seizes. Ninurta inside the chamber cried. Take it away. To obliteration, destroy it. Retracing his steps through the grand gallery to the topmost chamber, Ninurta went. In a hollowed out chest, the heart of the Akira pulsated. Its net force by five compartments was enhanced. With his baton, Ninurta, the stone chest struck. With a resonating sound, it responded. Its gugstone, that directions determine, Ninurta ordered to be taken out to a place of his choice carry. Could the chip on the left side be from the strike of Ninurta's baton? Are we missing the evidence right in front of us? Coming down the Great Gallery, Ninurta, the 27 pairs of Nibiru crystals examined. Many in his fight with Marduk were damaged. Some the struggle intact survived. To remove the whole ones from their grooves, Ninurta ordered. The others with his beam he pulverized. There are 27 pairs of niches. Would Ningashita choose 27 colored crystals? Not likely. Would he choose nine colored crystals? It's possible. But Ningashido, also known as Thoth, wanted to be the teacher of man. There are three primary colors. Nine crystals of three primary colors equals 27. Where they overlap, we have the colors of the rainbow. According to the Sumerian tablets, the Great Pyramid was built as a testament to the survival of the Flood by the Anunnaki. Ninma, her necklace of crystals, a gift from Anu, touched and swore, On my oath, the annihilation of mankind shall never be repeated. And God said, I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Is this the way we were meant to interpret the Grand Gallery? Jean-Pierre Houghton explores a theory of how the pyramid was constructed. The rail slots were designed to lift some of the blocks with a counterweight technique. The rail slots and the niches should not be confused. Outside the house which like a mountain is, Ninurta in his black bird sword. To the apex stone his attention he turned, 
his enemy's epitome it represented. With his weapon he shook it loose, to the ground, in pieces it toppled. To replace the incapacitated beacon, a mount near the place of the celestial chariots was chosen. Within its innards, the salvaged crystals were rearranged. Upon its peak, the goat stone, the stone of directing, was installed. Mount Mashu, Mount of the Supreme Celestial Bark, the mount was called. The Great Pyramid Not only was it pointing to the stars, it pointed to locations on Earth. Yes, it was a power plant not to supply power, but for its own purpose. And it was full of lights, inside and out. Truly, a marvel, far beyond what we've been led to believe. House that is like a mountain, house with a pointed peak, for heaven earth is equipped, the handiwork of the Anunnaki it is. House bright and dark, house of heaven and earth. For the celestial boats it was put together, by the Anunnaki built. House whose interior with a reddish light of heaven glows. A pulsating beam that far and high reaches it emits. Lofty mountain of mountains, great and lofty fashion, beyond the understanding of earthlings it is. House of equipment, lofty house of eternity, its foundation stones the waters touch, its great circumference in clay is set. House whose parts are skillfully together woven, the great ones who in the skies circle to a resting make a descent. House that for the rocket ships is a landmark with unfathomable insight. By a new himself is the cure blessed. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe now and ring the bell for notification and see things in a new light.